To a small percentage of mods, the drug trip and get high scene has come to be a way of life. The ultimate in weapons for this group of self-alienated youth is escaping reality by total oblivion through the use of drugs. It's a sad fact that suicide rates have risen throughout most of the civilized world in this 18 to 25 age group. In Iran, 95% of the suicides are in this age group. In the United States, it's nearly one in 10. Acid heads and potheads feel that the real answers to life can be found by the use of drugs. On a conservative estimate, at least 30% of all college students in this country turn on with everything, ranging from pep pills called uppers to barbiturates called downers, marijuana and amyl nitrate and methadrine to hallucinogenics including LSD and peyote and natural highs from baked banana skins to huge doses of cinnamon to even sniffing airplane glue. The widespread use of grass, better known to the unhip as marijuana, is now so widely accepted that it must be considered an integral part of the now generation's life experience. Private studies show that no fewer than 50% of some high school students have tried pot at least once and 25% turn on at least once or twice a week. Marijuana has given way to acid, which is illegally sold at $6 a cap, as opposed to 50 cents for a Mary Jane cigarette, which is a much milder kick. Statistically, the greatest majority of the hip generation shy away from the opium derivatives, such as heroin and morphine. It's because these drugs are a total withdrawal from awareness. The mod generation demands their now to be heightened and their experience more meaningful. The mods who turn on to Potter Acid say their drug trip means ecstasy, sensual unfolding, illumination, even religious experience, a contact with nature, re-evaluation. But for many, it simply adds up to one word, the end. <laughs>
take a look